And you know, as much as the birth of humanity, paleontologists will tell you, humanity has been identified as an intelligent mind because, not the stones, because they have achieved, they use this tool to make the fire. And observing more or less the, uh, uh, the sky and to see more or less this uh, rainbow, the rainbow nation, of course, to explain the rainbow origin. It took millions of years to get with Descartes and Newton, Isaac Newton and is Huygens to explain the origin of this. From the birth of humanity, so long it took to get right about the definition of the, uh, that one. And who has not admired this romantic way to write? Sometimes, you know, the escom is down, you know. And you have to come with this candle, but it doesn't matter. Romantic way to approach a man and woman is this one. It's a sharing some type of emissions. And this is a black body. It took number of hundred years to come to Planck and give us the black body emission. Yet we have observed it a number of times. Yet, the suit of this has given a birth to the carbon nanotubes, to the C60. It gave a birth to a Nobel Prize as this suit. Nonetheless, the origin of it is this light. And in fact, from a philosophical point of view, a number of, of course, I'm really sorry for the Hindus and others, really, uh, my mother was a Jew, my father was a Muslim, my wife is a Roman Catholic. That is why I have chosen this only, the one, because I know. In Torah, 47 times direct, direct reference to light. In the Bible, 71, in Quran, 42. It's sad, in fact, if you have to, to find out what is the most uh, relatively speaking, uh, 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 sound, uh, common point uh, is the angels are from light. So they can speed fast, they can move fast. Al-Mala'ika min nur. I'm not telling X, Y, and Z, you know. I'm not, uh, but uh, doesn't matter. The point is that even in Iran, where I was last week, you know, in Iran, uh, you have a community who believes light or fire as a god, Zoroastrian. And it's not common only to the Iranians, the Zoroastrian community, but it's common to others, so of course, in Latin America, the Mayas and so on. The reference is uh, the sun. So are the Chinese. The Chinese came with a fantastic way of tracking the sun and so on. When we speak about light, we have a tendency to uh, speak only about this region. No, it's incorrect. What the physics or the, the sorry, photonics and optics uh, community uh, 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 agree that, uh, that it's not limited to this. It's a large spectrum. As you can certainly guess that it's related to a number of things that we are using on a daily basis. These are the ones. Well, we have limited uh, 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 somehow from the humanities aspect point of view, the term in academic science, uh, sense of the word uh, light uh, to the visible one, what we can see. We, you and me, we can see. The cat can see the IR. Octopus can see something else. And the deep, deep on the sea, you have a majestic aspect of bioluminescence. Yet the light cannot go down. But the natural uh, systems do 
come with a bioluminescence and chemiluminescence, which is more fantastic. I will challenge any human phosphor expert to come with a such effective and efficient phosphor relatively to Mother Nature. The point is this, is that we have defined what is light due to our perceptions. And I would like really to stress on this point. Ladies and gentlemen, senior and junior colleagues, optics and electromagnetism has been always driven by perception. What I see, in effect, uh, uh, the human being, as you know, is in the yellow, okay, the maximum, and you have a number of animals. I restricted this to say, this uh, uh, range. But in fact, other animals are more sensitive to the IR. The butterflies in particular. Nonetheless, nonetheless, just to state one point, light does not belong to the visible range. No. It belongs to all the spectrum. Sorry. So, as early as the, how can I say, the birth of humanity or any living species, in effect, and that is the point, when it comes to the eye, to the perception, the Darwin model or the Darwin theory has and is struggling with the eye. Whatever we have, hands, feet, perspiring, whatever. But there is only one problem with the Darwin theory, is the eye. How it comes that the eye has not been able to go through a huge amount of evolution as any other part of the body. And therefore, the community came that light should not limit, be limited to the visible range, but rather to